So, it's possible, if you're anything like me, you've been misled by self-help books, by your higher education, by any sort of education, your parents, social media, and you've been sold the idea that by now you should really be a millionaire or have your own company or be a senior manager or executive whilst at the same time having an amazing romantic relationship, having a great group of friends, rolling out of bed every morning, feeling like a model, looking like a model I should say, feeling like you're brimming with excitement and happiness and ready to go change the world every day. You've probably also been sold the idea that life is similar to a journey. It's a, the best analogy is a journey where you take steps along your development and then there's this end goal uh, somewhere in retirement and that massive ambition is the sexiest most desirable trait you can have. Now the real poison is that if you're not any of these things then you're broken or you're wrong. But the reality is that we're all messy, imperfect, dynamic creatures with glaring rough edges and ultimately you will be depressed. You will be ripped apart by your insecurities and anxieties. Your relationships will be riddled with friction and you will yo-yo on and off your diet. You'll get excited to overhaul your life one week and then three weeks later realise that you completely failed to stick to the plan over and over again and really you'll be a rascal you'll have it you'll have dark thoughts everyone does I know I do apathy lethargy will stack to make you feel worthless that's my Achilles heel and if you are truly exceptional at something where you have the potential to be you have to sacrifice almost everything to get it and that's not what you see on their Instagram feed. Now, I'll make this easy for you. You're not broken. Everybody is fighting a battle you know nothing about. We need the chaos, we need the days spent sat on in our pants on the sofa watching Netflix for five hours a day on a Sunday, eating cookies out of the jar. Because without that, what would give appreciation and context to the days when you do have the idea for the next Facebook, or you do, I don't know, just have a great day. Now, in my best moments, and they are few and far between and usually only occur when I'm coaching someone and focused on them. I believe that life is fundamentally playful. If you zoom out enough your perspective, everything is playful. That's just my perspective. And the analogy with life as a journey where you've got steps to take, hoops to jump through, you know, whether it's school, high school, university, career, or school, high school, university, freelance, retirement, or meet someone, date them, relationship, get a house, get a mortgage, get a kid, whatever it is, whatever the steps are. I believe that that analogy probably got you some really great accolades. I know it got me some, to some really great places and gave me a sense of confidence, but the chances are it also developed a habit within you of sacrificing your present for your future and I've been in that cycle for most of my life where the vast majority of what I do now isn't as important as the results it can give me in the future and if you just use logic you'll see that if that's the habit you're in then no matter how big the goal you'll probably never be satisfied unless you go through a massive breakdown like I did. Um, so I don't think 
the analogy of life of the journey is, is serving you or serving us. What I like to think of is life as an analogy with music. And the point of a song isn't to reach the end the fastest, it's to dance. So if you've been sold the idea, if you've been if you believe that it's possible to be perfect externally, if you believe that it's desirable to be perfect, then you're betraying your true nature. You're running and hiding from the real nature of all of us. And my guess at this early stage is that that will probably lead to dissatisfaction in the long term. Because ultimately you are perfect in your own messed up way, whenever you flow with life as you do, whenever you're in your own flow doing your thing, you are perfect. And so if you need a little help accepting that and embracing your irreducible rascality and imperfection, giving them all a big old caress, or even if you just want to be the kind of person that wakes up every day, jumps straight out of bed and dances around their bedroom naked with their AirPods in. And through all of that, attain a meaningful impact and a, and a greater impact and have more fun as you do it. Then you talk, I'll listen and we'll dance. Laugh, go on. <laughs> I'm <laughs> done. <laughs>